So today I'm working on a kitchen sink strainer that's been leaking for a while. You can see all that rust and corrosion right there. Nasty, nasty stuff. Pretty straightforward job. Make sure you put a bucket on the bottom there to catch the water from the peat trap. You can loosen most of these fittings with just your hands if you got that bare strength. I got that bare strength because I've been doing this for a while, so it's pretty easy for me. Um, and also, I'm also changing out all these PVC fittings too, so I didn't really care. But if you're not sure, take a picture of it just so you don't forget how they all go back on. Just take out that T right there. Use a pair of pliers with that metal nut up there. That part should come off. I'm using the rigid tool here to hold the top part right there so that I can loosen this big nut right here. Once you loosen that, you can mostly do it by hand. And then that part should have dropped, but it didn't, so I had to pry it out a little bit with a flathead screwdriver. Just a little pressure, that's all you need. Make sure you remove that old gasket right there. And then it should come out just like that. So that's what I did. Held it in like that on the top while I was loosening it with the pliers on the bottom. And make sure you clean it. Don't forget this step. Always clean, clean, clean this part. Clean it really good, as good as you can. Yeah, because you don't want new stuff and old cruddy stuff, you know? That's where the new gasket and plumber's buddy is going to go on. So you make sure it's super clean. That's plumber's buddy that I'm using. This stuff is like Play-Doh. Just grab it and roll it into like a hot dog. Put it around this new strainer just like that. Drop it in. This is the strainer that the customer provided me with. So this is what I'm using. They should put the gasket on and read the instructions so you know exactly how it goes on. Tighten that nut and then you can make your fine adjustments with these screws right here that's on the nut. So just tighten it, tighten it, make sure it's super tight, as tight as you can get it, but not over tightening where it's going to break off. Here's that new piece that's going on. Tighten it down a little bit, get my measurements so I can make the cuts. Got to make sure it's the right length. This is the rigid PVC cutting tool that I'm using. Love this thing. This thing makes the job super easy. It cuts it and it also reams it all at the same time. Alright, so putting the new parts on. I wasn't gonna clean this part, but then damn, it was so dirty. All this sludge and grime right here. I just had to. I could not leave it like this. So I took it apart and wait until you see what's inside of it. It didn't look that bad at first, but I found some a paper clip and some staples in there too. I don't know what they're doing with that, but that's what's what was in there, you know? So this is after cleaning. This is the grudge and slime. And the pipe is clean, brand new, like like brand new clean. But look at this stuff. This thing is thick. Like it was like slimy too. So that's all the old parts that we're throwing away. Right now I'm doing a leak test. Make sure there's no bubbles coming up. If you see bubbles coming up, that means there's a leak. No leaks up here, so we got to check on the bottom. Make sure there's no drips or anything like that at all. If there is, make sure you do your fine adjustment with those screws. And damn, that's it. Look at that. Everything looks brand new. Something about new pipe fittings, man. They just look brand new and make everything look so much better. Clean. And damn, that's nice.